Got Open to a sweet by Charles Miles. She can join. This is Charles with everything sweet. But today we're not making sweets. We're making meatball. Italian meatball. Yes, Italian meatball. We're going there. Okay, this is what you're going to We're going to make a, um, a sub. Okay? With meatballs. And this is what you're going to need. Okay? <clears throat> okay, we got uh, two thirds of a cup of onions. We got bell peppers, all these are two thirds of a cup. Onion, bell pepper, Parmesan cheese, breadcrumbs, okay? Then we got our seasoning that can go in. We got garlic, basil, parsley, black pepper, and salt. Now, that's what you're going to need to go into the ground beef. We got three pounds of ground beef. Now, you might not want to make more, you might want to use one pound. Okay, and just cut everything in half. Okay, then you're going to need your marinara sauce. We've got two jars of that. And this is the cheese that you're going to need to go on your hoagie rolls. we got two packs of cheese. Okay, in that we got three eggs. That's going to also go, all these going into the meat. Okay, your season, your onion, bell, pepper, parmesan, and your breadcrumbs. And you got three eggs you're going to put in there. Now we got three pounds because this is our dinner. And we got six people in our house, okay? So we had to make quite a bit when we make it. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started, all right? And when we get off into it, get this in the oven. Oh, you need a inch and a half scoop or a two-inch scoop. And don't put as much in there. I'm going to show you how to, how to work that, okay? And you're going to need some gloves. Uh, if you decide to use gloves, you can wash your hands and use your hands, but I'm going to use gloves, okay? Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to put Parmesan cheese in, breadcrumbs, now your pepper in this is option. You don't have to use your... Uh, Bell pepper, but we're gonna go ahead and use mere bell pepper. We got an orange bell pepper going in now. And we also got our onion going in. All this is going in, then we're gonna mix it up. We got our spices here. They are going in too with our salt, garlic powder, and our three eggs. Somebody gave me some help with this one. It's already cracked. I appreciate all the help I can get. Okay, we're going to put our gloves on, and we're going to start mixing this up. Okay, we're going to start mixing all this together. You want to get this good mix now. You want to make sure all your seasoning, onions, and bell pepper are here where they're supposed to be. So... Make sure you get this good mix when you start mixing it. I know y'all been to grocery store and sold it. The ridiculous price on this ground beef. We got a five pound roll. It's already pre packed. Thing used to be nine, ten dollars a roll. Nine, sixteen, ninety five a roll. So I know y'all experience the same thing we experienced at the grocery store. 
man, you need three jobs now. Just make groceries. Just ain't paying no bills. Just, just to get groceries in the house, you can eat. Now, I'm not going to point them the plank at nobody. I don't know who fall deal. But whoever fall deal, they need to get it fixed and get it fixed fast. Then on top of that, you can't find half the ingredients you're looking for. You got to go to two, three grocery stores. And hopefully you, hopefully you get lucky. So, don't feel like y'all the only one going through that. We're going through the same thing. Can't find half stuff you're looking for. And when, when you do find it, then you got to figure out can you afford to buy it. But, that's another story. We're going to keep doing what we're doing. And hopefully... Whoever messed it, messed it up can fix it. We got this mixed up pretty good. Now, the oven's already preheated on three, 400. This going to take anywhere from 18 to 20 minutes. Once we get them balled up in the oven, anywhere from 8 to 20 minutes. 400 degree oven, okay? Okay, we're going to clean up a little bit, and we will be right back. Okay, we're going to start scooping it out. This is all you do. We got a two-inch um, scoop, so basically what we're doing is just filling that Two inch scoop like that. We're gonna have a bunch left over on the end. You take that out and you're just gonna roll it up. Now we're gonna put in the description below with one pound of ground beef. Like I said, we got six in our household. So we're picking at least three or four per sandwich. And then what we got left that's gonna be for later on. Right on that day, you know, we'll come back and we're going to eat some more. Just take that thing and roll it like that. Okay. I'm going to wash my hands, then we're going to slide these in the oven. We're going to set it for 18 minutes, and we'll come back and check. 400 degrees now, okay? We'll be ready. Now right, we got a few more left. I'm gonna put them on a half a pan. Boy, just, boy, just, just bringing back memories. <clears throat> See a little silver pan I got. I think a pan three, four times that size, and you got that. Make <laughs> meatball. You know, we, we got a similar line going. <laughs> I did just for the house. When you looking for a restaurant? <laughs> Little stuff you got there, I can go make it, baby. You, you got to produce. You about three of us working on them meatballs. We have one person scooping them out, put them on a, a separate pan. Got two or three of us actually. Rolling the meatball, okay? You get through pretty fast when you got a little help. Okay, we got the first one then. We're going to go ahead and put these in. We got it set for 18 minutes at 400 degrees. All right, we'll be back when it's time to get them out, okay? Okay, we got a marinara sauce on there. Now, you can get any kind you want because you're going to go ahead and, you know, make it your own. And what I mean by that, we're going to go ahead and put... See, you're going to add to this just a teaspoon of basil, a teaspoon of parsley, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. So that's what I mean. You get, your, get any kind you want, any kind you like. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of black pepper in here. 
So you can get any kind of mirror mirror sauce you want. So you're going to add to it and make it yours. Just going to put a pinch of salt in here, okay? Pinch of salt. And we're also going to put a half a stick of butter in it too, okay? So while your meatballs are cooking, the marinara sauce is going to be over here simmering. So we're going to put this on low heat. So I've got about 10 more minutes before the meatballs are ready. So this will go on low heat. And when we come back, we're going to show you how to uh, finish this thing off, okay? All right, coming out with the meatball. They've been in about 22 minutes. Uh, we let them stay in there a little long because they're a little bigger than an inch and a half. As you can see, they've been shrunk in size. So, let's make sure when you make your, your meatball, you might want them to get a little bigger than you want them because they will shrink. Okay? And we're going to continue just to put these in the marinara sauce. And we'll be right back when we get them all in there. All right, we got our meatballs in our marinara sauce. Now we're going to put a lid on there. Let this simmer about 10 minutes. And once that's done, y'all know what time it is. Time to simmer. And then it's time to eat. Okay, we got it on medium heat. On our stove, we got it on number five. We're going to let it stay there. We're going to cover it for 10 minutes. We're going to be coming back. And it's going to be eating time. We'll see you then. All right, we got our bread. We're gonna show you how to cut the cut your bread. Um, we got these at Sam, six in a pack, uh, about seven dollars, six ninety five. The six come in a pack, so it's about a dollar and a quarter, a dollar and a quarter of a loaf. We're not going all the way to the bottom, okay? All base you want to be, you want to be able to open that thing up like that. Okay, okay we're going to take our cheese, show you how to get that in. We got mozzarella cheese, but you can use any kind you want to. Put that on both sides. Bring back my grocery store years. We used to make these and all the little kind of sandwiches at the grocery store. We had a fresh bar where we made fresh sandwiches. Oh, we made we made a lot of sandwiches, okay. Okay, you can use as much cheese you want to. After all, this is your sub, okay? And we got one, two, three, four, five pieces of cheese in there. All right. Our meatballs been cooking 10 minutes. We're going to bring them over. Okay. We're going to see how many meatballs we can get in here. I know y'all ready. I'm ready. Got two there. Three. Got four. And we got five. Okay, now you take another spoon and you get that sauce. That sauce on that thing, yeah, just like that. Oh, how much? And you can eat good now. I'm going to put a little parsley on there for the color. Put your 
possible on that, but it ain't like that. <laughs> now, need I say more? Tell me, are we ready to eat or not? Yes, we are ready to eat, baby. <clears throat> so, you know, if you're looking for something new to make, this would be the splendid thing to go for a meal. Uh, meatball sub, homemade meatball. You got your own seasoning and spice in there. Then you got your marinara sauce. You come out of a job, but you, you know, you spice it up, put a little seasons and spices in there, and you made it your own, okay? So, we ready to eat. Oh, how much? Look here, I don't even know where to start at. But we be right back. I'm going to start somewhere. We be right back. All right, we going in, baby. We got our barbecue chips here, any kind of chips you want. You can make fries, whatever you want. All right, we're going to cut this thing a piece off. You know, in the world, pick that whole thing up. Watch that marinara sauce run, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Lord, how much? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Try this at home, baby. This is delicious. Meatball sub. The one you make yourself. You know exactly what in it. You can put as much or less on it if you want to. Use any, any kind of cheese you want to. So, listen, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and take this opportunity to hit that subscribe button. And don't think you're through. There's some more work to do. You got to share and you got to like. We definitely appreciate all you do for us. And you will definitely appreciate it every time you hear that bell come off. You know, Charles is in the kitchen. And when Charles is in the kitchen, something very extraordinary is going to happen. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We definitely appreciate you. And time next week, we'll be back next week with another delicious, I'm not going to say dessert, but we will be back next week with something. Now, every week, we upload on Tuesday. You can find us on Instagram, Charles Mile 51. You can find us on pictures. Um, everything sweet with Charles. So go ahead and visit those sites. Find us. Show a little love. We definitely appreciate it. Until next week, we're out of here. Thank y'all very much. <laughs>